Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Camilla and I usually post reactions, gaming and vlogs. Today we have a Patreon requested movie reaction and that is Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I really hope that I pronounced that correctly. If you don't know, I am finally back from my summer vacation. I've also been studying full time and been working part time. And now I really want to focus on this YouTube channel and same with my Twitch. So if you want to support the channel and watch the full reaction, you can totally do so by going over on the Patreon. And I want to say thank you so, so, so much to Andrew for requesting this and pledging the highest tier. Thank you so, so, so much. I really, really do appreciate the support. Anyways, I don't know anything about this other than George Clooney is in it. <sighs> if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on all social media. They will all be linked down below. If you want, again, to watch the full reaction, it will be over on Patreon. I hope you are just as excited as I am to get back to the reactions. And I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, let's go. The, the subtitles will be in Norwegian because remember... English is not my first language, it is my third. I am part Dominican and part Norwegian. So I speak Norwegian and Spanish. I feel like I need to share this every single time <laughs> when there's another language in the subtitles. <laughs> oh, I really just hope this is like a comedy and feel-good movie. I really need a feel-good movie right now. Interesting sound. Another prisoner movie. If this is like the Green Mile, I'm gonna lose it. Oh. oh, please be a nice movie. Down in the jungle, fire was burning. I'm not turning. Beside the crystal fountain, see the big rock candy. Okay, we got some runners. Where the boxcars all are. Can they see people running in the field? Oh, they're gonna catch a train. <laughs> Oh no. What if one gets on and everyone else just gets dragged? Any boys, Smithies. Or, if not Smithies per se, were you otherwise trained in the metallurgic arts before straighten the circumstances? Just what I said, what's gonna happen? Jesus, can I count on you people? Sorry, Everett. Well, all right. If we take off through that bayou, then... Wait a minute. Who elected you leader of this outfit? Well, Pete, I figured it should be the one with the capacity for abstract thought. But... Suits me. I'm voting for yours truly. Well, I'm voting for yours truly, too. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm with you fellas. You don't wonder why they're chained up and stuff? You work for the railroad, Grandpa? I work for no man. <gasps> I think he's blind. I have no name. Well, that right there may be the reason you've had difficulty finding gainful employment. You see, in the mart of competitive commerce... You seek a great fortune. You will find a fortune. But first, first you must travel a long and difficult road. A road fraught with peril. Mm -hmm. You shall see that. Wonderful to tell. Yeah, look at his eyes. I think he's blind. And oh, so many startling. I cannot tell you how long this road shall be. But fear not the obstacles in your path. For fate has vouchsafed your reward. 
treasure's still there, boys, believe me. But how'd he know about the treasure? Don't know, Dumber. Well, the blind are reputed to possess sensitivities compensating for their lack of sight, even to the point of developing paranormal psychic powers. Not so surprising, then, that an organism deprived of its earthly vision He would... said we wouldn't get it. He said we wouldn't get the treasure we seek on account of our obstacle. What the hell does he know? He's an ignorant old man. He still has us here. Horse farm and a forge and some shoeing impediment to restore our liberty of movement. Hold it right, Sheriff! And there's a child. You men from the bank? Wash his bar? Yes, sir. Daddy told me I'm to shoot who's ever from the bank. Well, we ain't from the bank, young feller. I'm also supposed to shoot folks out of papers. Does it look like they have paper? To your friends. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Hogwalt. My, my name is Ulysses Everett McGill, and, and I'm Delmar O'Donnell. 12, 13 years. Yep. Yeah. I expect you want them chains knocked off. Mrs. Hogwall up up in R U N N O F T. She must have been looking for answers. Possibly. I do miss her cooking, though. This stew's awful good. I think so. I slaughtered this horse last Tuesday. I'm afraid she's starting to turn. <laughs> that one guy was like, I did not need to know that. <laughs> well, guess I'll be turning in. Say, uh, cousin Wash. I suppose it'd be the uh, acme of foolishness to inquire if you had a hairnet. I got a bunch in yon bureau. I won't be needing them. Right, <clears throat> that was my hair. Now, we're in a tight spot. Just come on out and grab it in. Don't try nothing fancy. Your situation is. We're in a tight spot. What in the Sam Hill? Pete's cousin turned us in for the bounty. The hell you say? Walsh is Kim. Sorry, Pete. I know we're Kim, but they got this depression on. You just as scary as hog wallop. You miserable horse eating. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Damn his eyes. Paul always said, never trust a hog wallop. Come and get us, coppers! Monkey round! Damn, we're in a tight spot. Ladder? Oh my god, I keep saying that. Uh, ain't you ever heard of negotiating? Hey, we can talk this thing out. I hate fire. You love me low down the yellow planet. Oh, oh, uh, now we got some people. Oh, boys, here. Careful with that fire now, boy! Really thinking about that right now? You candy buddy, car thieving, souls and souls, I curse your name! Go back home and mind your pop. What's the damn problem? It'll take two weeks. Here's your pomade. Two weeks? No, I don't want this pomade. I want Dapper Dan. I don't care, Dapper Dan. I care, Fop. Well, I don't want Fop, goddammit! I hate this place a uh, geographical oddity. Two weeks from everywhere. Forget it. Doesn't hear that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Try finding a decent hair jelly. Go for Everett. And no transmission belt for two weeks neither. We got but four days to get to that treasure. After that, it'll be at the bottom of a lake. We ain't gonna make it walking. Go for Everett. The oldest tactician in this side of France. For the transportation, that is. I don't know how I'm gonna keep my coiffure in order. How's this a plan? How are we gonna get a car? This is in his bureau. I reckon it'll fetch us enough cash for a good use out of our shirt and a little left over besides. You got some light fingers, Everett. That one guy seems so creepy. You stole from my kin! Your kin tried to kill them. So I borrowed it till I did know. That don't make no sense! Pete, it's a fool that's illogical. 
of the human heart. Appears to be some kind of a congregation. That was kind of creepy. Stop with that. Third of a gopher would only arouse my appetite without bedding her back down. Oh, you can have the whole thing. Me and Pete already had one. We ran across a whole gopher village. Oh, he's in heaven right now. Oh, they're baptizing people, it seems like. Everybody's looking for answers. So is the hell's he going? Mark been saved. <laughs> I've been redeemed. The preacher done washed away all my sins and transgressions. The preacher said all my sins is washed away. Including that piggly wiggly I knocked over in Yazoo. Well, but you said you was innocent of those charges. Well, I was lying. And the preacher said that that sin's been washed away too. <laughs> Come on in, boys. The water is fine. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, great. Baptism. You two are just dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, I guess you just might cross the bear. Pull over, ever. Let's give that colored boy a lift. You fools going past Tish Mingo? Sure, hop in. So far, this is so feel good. I really needed a lad. Keep your fingers away from Pete's mouth. He ain't had nothing to eat for 13 years except prison food, gopher, and a little greasy horse. My name's Tommy, Tommy Johnson. What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, I had to get this here crossroads where it's midnight. Ain't it a small world, spiritually speaking? Pete and Delmer just been baptized and saved. Oh, son, for that you traded your everlasting soul? Well, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> What's the devil look like? But the great Satan himself is red and scaly with a bifurcated tail. He carries a hay fork. No, sir. He's white. As white as you folks. I heard there's a man down there who pays folks money singing to his can. They say he pays an extra if you play real good. The radio. Who's the hot show around here? I am. Sir, I'm Jordan Rivers, and these here are the Soggy Bottom Boys out of Cottonelia, Mississippi. Songs of salvation to salve the soul. You hear that you should pay good money to be singing to a group of Soggy Bottom Boys who've been in deep in their old-time material. Heck, we're silly with it, ain't we, boys? That's right. And he's nodding. I've seen Trump. I was actually so good. Boy, that's what the matter about it, thinking anything. And I tell you what, <clears throat> you come on in here, you sign these papers here, I'm gonna give you ten dollar piece. Uh, okay, sir, but Merton, uh, Aloysius will have to get signed X is only four times in life. That'll be fine. <laughs> you don't tell your pappy how to cut the electorate. We ain't one at a time in here. We're mass communicating. A guy your mammy died giving birth. Should have seen you, should have died of shame. That is messed up. Where you go, and it's harder than it, and the people are drifting. Let's bed down here for the night. Yeah, thanks to that old barn. Suits me. Better beds, so cheap. Million dollars. Million point two. Five hundred thousand each. Almost. What are you gonna do with your share of the treasure? Go out with somewhere. Open a fine restaurant. I'm gonna be the major D. Beat all the swells. Go to work every day in a bow tie, tuxedo. And all the staff say yes, sir, and no, sir, and then a jiffy pee. What about you, Delmer? What are you gonna do with your share of that dough? I'm gonna visit them foreclosing son of a guns down at the Indian over savings and loan. Slap that money on the barrel head and buy back. What you have in mind when you stole it in the first place? I have no plan. 
What did that hardly sound like you? We gotta skedaddle. A pomade in the car. Maybe I can creep up. Forget the pomade. Where's Tommy? Already let out. Scared out of his wits. Let's go. Hell, it ain't square one. Ain't no one gonna pick up three filthy, unshaved hitchhikers. One of them a know it all who can't keep his trap shut. The personal rancor reflected in that remark I don't intend to dignify with comment. Now, you may call it an unreasoning optimism. You may call it obtuse. But the plain and simple fact is that we got close to three days before they... Is that Tommy? Oh! That's not Tommy. You the beaner? Nah, 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 that, that, that ain't right. That ain't right either. I find in why you give it a tick. Any of you boys know your way around the Walter PPK? Well, see, that's where we can't help you. I don't believe it been Mississippi. Friend, some of your folding money has come unstowed. Just stuff it down there. You boys aren't bad men, I take it. I was bad till yesterday, but me and Pete here been saved. George Nelson, it's a pleasure. Grab the tiller, will you, buddy? But he's a bad guy. What line of work you in, George? <laughs> cared about this who said that what ignorant low down slanderizing son of a bitch said that my name is george nelson get me not baby face i think she hurt his feelings well that was some fun though wasn't it george oh come on almost makes me wish i hadn't been saved jacking up banks i can see how a fella derive a whole lot of pleasure and satisfaction out of it it's okay what do you suppose that we can go with the thrill-seeking personality what goes up must come down i don't think we've seen the last uh george nelson what can i do you for mr prince can i lay hold of them lousy bottoms they cut a record in here a few days ago with an old timey harmony thing with a guitar company well that record is just going through the goddamn roof of course. Whole damn state's going apey. We're just carrying ice. Oh, he's leaving. <laughs> We're giving the person a dollar. Well, that's not suspicious at all. I don't know their names. I've seen them first. I saw them first. Don't oh my god, he's in heaven again. There's a catch. Yes. There's a catch. There has to be a catch. There's something that happened. We all lost a man. Oh, oh no. My 
hair. Stop. Sweet Jesus, Everett. They left his heart. <laughs> I was gonna say he shrunk. Take a boo. Oh. Don't know what the heck's going on. Can't you see it, Everett? Them sirens did this to Pete. They loved him up and turned him into a horny toad. He actually brought the toad. I'm not sure that's Pete. Of course it's Pete. Look at him. We gotta find some kind of wizard can change him back. I'm not sure that's Pete. I just don't think it's right keeping him under wraps like we's ashamed of him. It is Pete. I am ashamed of him. The way I see it, he got what he deserved. Well, the two of us was fixing to fornicate. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna have to excuse my rusticated friend, uh, Big Dan Tootcourt. How you doing, Big Dan? My name is Ulysses Everett McGill. This is my associate, Delmer McDonald. I flatter myself that such is the case. In my line of work, it's plum necessary. It's the word of God. It's what we tell people to spend good money on rather than times when it's all gone wrong. Nothing else. I could use some civilized conversation. Uh, <laughs> don't forget your shoebox, friend. And maybe we should get us some. Uh, I'll reform you, you soft-headed son of a bitch. How are you going to run reform on with a damn incumbent? I feel so sorry for that guy. I'm a man of large appetites, and even with lunch under my belt, I was feeling a mite peckish. And it is that which I propose to give you a lesson in right now. Well, I, I think I'm at least too deserve of the human scene, too, Big Dan. That's why I invited y'all out here for this advanced tutorial. Ah! Come on, Big Dan. It's all about the money, boys! That's ah! it! <laughs> Don't break! <laughs> Just take your show cards. <laughs> and whatever you got in the hole. Please be scared of toads. I ain't nothing but a damn toad. No, you don't understand. That's Pete. You know these things give you warts. Oh, God. <laughs> Great, now he's gonna lose it. Y'all seen the end of Big Dan T. We need to take revenge. What? Oh, thank God. Okay. Talk, you unreconstructed whelp of a whore! Where are they headed? Where are they headed? <laughs> your two friends have abandoned you, Pete. They don't seem to care about your life. <laughs> Stay away to heaven, Pete. We shall all meet by and by. God forgive me! Just don't seem right digging up that treasure without him. Well, you sentient being. And... Well, as soon as we get ourselves. Oh, poor Pete. We're gonna feel 100% better about ourselves and life in general. Pete Keller, brother. Not that I'm aware. He must be getting to him. Okay, he didn't recognize them. Oh, I was scared of the cop. It will help us every day. I really like the music they have in this movie, though. Show us. She's a clear. Happy O'Donnell, Lave of the Henry, Homer Stokes, Soy of the Little Man. Ain't that right, little fella? He ain't lying. Clean government. Go. Go to Adam. Add a little Warby gal. Warby gals? Did he just say little Warby gals? What y'all gonna say for? In the highway. In the highway. Aww. Is he a father? He has three? Hell, I ain't. What's this Warby gals? Your name's McGill. No, sir, not since you got hit by that train. Mama says she was hit by a train. Bluey, nothing left. Damn it, I wasn't hit by any train. That's right, and now Mama's got a new bow. He's a suitor. <gasps> you give her a ring? Yes, sir. Big and got it, Jim. Mama checked it. It's bona fide. He's a suitor. He's a suitor. 
I am the only daddy you got. I am the damn pedophilias. But you ain't bona fide. I thought he only had like one daughter, but it was all of them. Daddy! Hello, sugar. Huh? He has several. Who the hell's that? Starla Warby. Starla McGill, you mean? How come you never told me about her? Please say bye, Tori. That's another thing. Why are you telling our gals I was hit by a train? What was I supposed to tell them? He has seven children. Uh, I take your point. Oh. Hello, Fanny. This uh, gentleman bothering you? Fanny has been busy. I have traveled many a weary mile to be back with my wife and my six daughters. Seven, Daddy. That ain't your daddy, Alvin L. Your daddy was hit by a train. Now, Penny, you stop that. No, you stop it. Vernon here's got a job. <laughs> the only good thing you ever did for the gals was to get hit by that train. Well, you Oof. lying, unconscious, succubus. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, you can't marry my wife. <gasps> Worst fight I've ever seen. Who is that man? He's not my husband. And stay out of the wall, Warren. Well, that could have been better. Never trust a female, Delma. Remember that one simple precept, and your time with me will not have been ill spent. Okay, Everett. Hit by a train. Truth means nothing to a woman, Delma. <laughs> you ever been with a woman? I, I gotta get the family. And start thinking about that. That's right. Hit then. Oh my God. Women is the most fiendish instrument of torture ever devised to bedevil. <laughs> Everett, I never figured you for a painter from Italy. Oh, yes. I have spread my seed. <gasps> oh, my God. Okay, boys. Enjoy your Christmas show. Do not seek the treasure. Fix it a damn bush. Do not. Seek the treasure. Everyone can hear you, Pete. We thought you was a toad. He's like, <laughs> you could hire us a little fella, even smaller than Stokes. Is. You slope shoulders suck at nuts. People think that Stokes has got fresh ideas. He's old Corant. We'd have passed. The reason why he's pulling our pants down. Gonna paddle a little beehive. <laughs> For show. Pete. <laughs> Hold still! Oh my gosh. Pete, we gotta get out. That's all I got. Oh. That's all I got. We didn't abandon you, Pete. We just thought you was a toad. No, they never did turn me into a toad. Frankly, I... Well, I, I spilled my guts about the treasure. I'm awful sorry I betrayed you, fellas. Must be my hog wall of blood. Nah. That's not that. Don't for white of you to take it like that, ever. I feel wretched. Boiling your pay for a million dollar point two. Oh, you boys are too rich. Oh, I can't help it, but that's a, a, a wonderful thing to say. He's so cute. The fact of the matter is... What you gonna do? Stop it. <gasps> I had two weeks left on my sins. I couldn't wait two weeks. She's getting married tomorrow. I don't get out now to 1987. 84 years old. Wow. We was chained together. I had to tell you something. Busting out alone was not an option. Yeah, too weak. Well, I'll only be 82. My God, it's tough. You ruined my life! You ruined my life! I, I do apologize about that, Pete. It would just really find the clan. Okay, out of everything happening in this movie, I did not expect that. Won't you spare me over till another year? Yes, vocals though. It's Tommy. They got Tommy. Oh my. Sweet Jesus, we got them safe. Brother! We are all gathered here to preserve. Of Cree and of our old time religion. From jockeys, from Jews, from papists. 
And from all those smart ass folks say we come descended from monkey. I ain't never harmed you. Neither you gentlemen. Hey, Doc. Huh? Doc, we come to rescue you. Well, that's mighty kind of you boys, but I don't think nothing's gonna save me now. God is colored. Who made them the color God? Can't let that black touch the ground. Oh, it's gonna hit him. Oh, oh that's gonna hit him. Well, that's the best outcome. <laughs> Idea, Hell of an idea. Can't beat that part is I I don't know I, like what I expected. It's an invitation only affair. We'll have to sneak into the service entrance. Hold on. Who elected you leader? Oh, not this again. Whip no end and sunstroke and soggy. Turned into a frog. He wasn't turned into a frog. A toad, by the way. The whole world, God Almighty. He had two weeks. I understand him. I mean, who ever heard of such behavior? Even amongst the colored. Or oh, mulattoes, maybe. I suspect some miscegenation in the heritage. How's he gonna explain it? Excuse my Confederate flag with a missile. Why are you talking like that about my people? <laughs> oh, everyone is gonna hear that they are the people on the radio. In the jailhouse now, fellas. Hard than a shooting dice. He's in the jailhouse now. Sing it, Pete. I didn't know he could yodel. They should like sang the other song so people understood that he was on the radio. There we go. know ladies and gentlemen that this band of miscreants here this very evening see i belong to a certain secret society i don't believe i gotta mention its name oh yeah i know that already we saw him this here music is over these boys desecrated a fiery cross it's over now Hey, hey. And we continue on. <laughs> As it <he> should. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this so much. Want to thank the Soggy Bottom Boys for that wonderful performance. If they're rank function. Is hereby pardoned. <laughs> He's good at selling himself in. Miguel. Yeah. Little change of cats. I mean, little lady, you're gonna pick up the pieces and retie the. She understood that he was gonna get famous and she wanted him back. Where's your ring, honey? I ain't worn it since our divorce came through. Vernon bought one in Costa de Cheers. I've spoken my piece and counted to three. Oh. George? Whoa, oh, boss! Well, these little men finally caught up with the criminal of the century. Looks like the chair for George Nelson. You up? Gonna electrify me? I'm gonna go off like a Roman candle. <laughs> And he's happy? Looks like George is right back on top again. George Nelson is quite unique, you can say. The home where I spent so many a happy day in the bosom of my family. Refugium, if you will. Mighty old G out front and a happy little tire crew. Oh, great.
You have eluded fate, and you have eluded me for the last time. You can't do this. We just got pardoned by the governor himself. It went out on the radio. Is that right? Yeah. Well, we ain't got a radio. That is so dumb. Go there for you. Please look down and recognize us, poor sinner. I've been separated from my family for so long. Forgive me. Let me see my daughters again. Ooh, it has been done. Poor dog. Where's Tommy? A miracle. Oh. Uh, oh. It was a miracle. That's the scientific explanation for what just happened. That ain't the tune you were singing back there at the gallery. Not a moment too soon. <laughs> hey, there's Tommy. Tommy, what you riding there? Roll top desk. My adventuring days have come to an end. You said it was in the roll top desk. I said I thought it was in the roll top desk. Nope. Well, we need that ring. Well, that ring is at the bottom of a pretty dang big lake. Uh-uh. A 9,000 hectare lake. And I don't care if it's 90,000. But honey... Oh, Count to three. Oh, my God. He can get something so much better. <laughs> That was so feel good. That is exactly what I needed. They are supposed to take things that fit in that society. And sadly, that is still some parts of society today as well. But they managed to take it and still make it such a wholesome movie. Where at the end, people understand that we're all human beings, you know? Absolutely amazing. I just really loved it. Thank you so much to Andrew for requesting this movie on Patreon. I really do appreciate that. It was absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to see what the next movie we will figure out will be. If you'd like to watch my full reaction, it's over on Patreon. If you'd like to connect, you can find me on all social media such as my Instagram, my Twitter, Twitch and Discord. Everything is linked down below in the link tree. Thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!